Cool. So the Urban Hub is a co-working space down, downtown located in the Rail Yard District. And um, the focus is really bringing different types of entrepreneurs in the community together. So um, it's for entrepreneurs, um, freelancers, uh, remote workers, um, really anyone who needs a space, cool space to work out of. But for the most part, we, we'd like to focus entrepreneurs in the space um, as, a way to not, as, a, as a way to not only work, but to get resources to help grow their business. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. I mean, besides the fact that it's, it's just a really cool, unique space, um, especially for the Green Bay area, it really has a, a coasty um, co-working space vibe with um, some really rustic design work. So I think that's pretty cool. But also we have a, conf a conference room, three call rooms, uh, a meeting room, all of which are reservable spaces. Um, we have a presentation space that we, um, you run out to the community, free for the members. We have different types of seminars there, um, different type of pitch events there, and then um, the fastest Wi-Fi you can get. So that's probably one of the, the great things for some of the, um, the tech companies in the space is that um, they'll never have an issue um, when it comes to high-speed Wi-Fi. Yeah, so a lot of what, a lot of, a lot of the members, a lot of tenants at the, the Urban Hub, they were referrals or they, someone told them about the space. Um, and the field that the, a lot of them work in, they speak the same language, um, they, have, they go through similar problems and issues, and because of that they, can, they have a better understanding of how to um, come to solutions. So um, with that, it, it really is cool to walk in and see um, maybe two different types of companies dealing with the same issue or maybe a different company and someone else has a different spin on it because they're in a different they're in a different whole different sector um, it's not just tech but it's it's a plethora of different types of entrepreneurs and all of them have problems with what all of them encounter um, problems with trying to scale their business up get more customers um, reach new goals so um, in addition to that, different community members can come in and use the space. Um, you don't have to be a member to use the space. And that's cool because they can bump shoulders with someone who can possibly some, help them in some way. Whether that's being an investor with Tundra Angels being kind of partner, partner with the Urban Hub or a possible employee as a freelance developer um, in the space. So I think that's the really cool part about it. Um, I would say you definitely should um, if you're looking for a spot to really engage with people. You can work anywhere. So, it, you know, if you're looking for someone to just work, um, you, you can do that, but that really isn't the goal of the space. The goal of the space is really to spark engagement, um, push people to want to start businesses, um, push others to connect, especially after the last couple years. And um, I think that is what the chamber is really all about. Like, that's what we're, you know the chambers here here for for the community to engage them to support them in different ways and I think uh, Urban Hub does a great job with supporting the entrepreneurial ecosystem but also people who aren't entrepreneurs it is still a place for them too yes so <laughs> that's the cool cool part about it and I have to chuckle because it's like it's it's just crazy coming into um, taking over the Urban Hub I think all of pretty much last year we had four or five um, new tenants um, outside of the ones who um, were really regular that were in the space from the get-go um, we had four new ones in the past six seven months we've had 20 plus new members so over three four hundred increase in, in membership and I think um, it's because we're, we're putting on events we're telling people hey um, you know, this is a space where entrepreneurs are coming together. We're partnering with different organizations, with Flea, Greenleaf, and recently M3 Insurance and Davis and Kilthal Law Firm. That one is super new, like a couple of days ago. But the point is, we're bringing all these resources together um, to help entrepreneurs, to connect people, sometimes connect people to, to different roles. Sometimes it may be, um, you know, just a, a move that you want to make and you really don't know who to talk to about it. Um, I, I, see, I see that growth as um, really a testament to driving, driving home that, hey, like this is an engagement place. This is not a, a just, I can work here place. Because you can work ho at home, but you're not going to get, like you're dealing with issues. You're not going to be able to solve that as easily as you be here 
in the Urban Hub bumping shoulders with somebody or working next to somebody or at one of the happy hours when we provide, you know, uh, you know, food and, and drinks and, and things like that for um, the members, that's a, another opportunity for them to really talk about what they're, what they're working on and that's, that's engagement right there. And I don't hear everything that goes on um, in the Urban Hub because of all the different conversations that happen outside of the Urban Hub, but I am aware, um, I, I am made aware of that when someone comes up to me to say, hey, I'm working with Joe from Axacore to, to, to fix my AI, my, my AI problem. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's really sweet. That's awesome. That's good for Joe because he has a client in some way in the partnership. And then, of course, it's good for you because you're, you're starting, you're using a, a resource that is right there in front of you um, that you've talked to, that you've worked around all day. It's not, you're not just going to a company and paying for a service. You know Joe and you know how cool he is. You know, you know his company and his story. So that alone is, is a reason to be in the Urban Hub. Yeah, so the thing that pops out to me the most probably is our the Blueprint Accelerator program that we ran out of the space. It was a program geared towards getting uh, minority women and vet-owned businesses support. Um, I think those underrepresented groups, um, it's a little bit harder for them when it comes to, to starting a business, a startup, um, whether that's funding or connections. Um, both of them are, are, can be really tough. And I think the Urban Hub do, did a great job with providing them a place where they can work around people and get connected to the community. Um, it's not always easy to go to different events and get connected because people have full-time jobs and kids and, and other things. So that program, um, that space is, is always open. It's 24-7 co-working space. All the members can be in there at any time. So the fact that that's true, um, it gives them that platform. And then the Blueprint, program also gave them the opportunity to get grant funding. So it was really cool to be able to provide not only the engagement, mentor, not only the engagement, but the funding, and then on top of that, to stack mentorship. Finding individuals in the community that want to give back, that have maybe built a company or worked for a really innovative company um, and is doing some really great things and ask them, hey, can you mentor some of the, the people who want to start a business? That was probably the, the highlight. And to really see those businesses start like really idea stage, don't really have um, a whole lot of, you know, information of where they're gonna go. They don't, they, it's really just kind of a toss up. They have an idea um, and it can go anywhere, but to have people in the community help guide them, you know, they get engaged and then get that funding, that's, that's awesome. Sure, yeah, I just wanna add that we're a space that's always trying to grow. Um, the goal is, is to help people move, help people build their businesses and they don't have to work in a place. They don't have to take advantage of the low costs that it, that, that's provided with the desk membership or shared space membership. That's not the only reason. Um, they can, we can build them up, up enough to the point where they can go out, get their own office, maybe um, grab a, a partner or, or something. So we're, we wanted to push people out of the space for the most part because we don't want them to need it. We want them to want to be there. We don't want to, them to sit there and, and not grow, right? So we want them to continue building their business so they can have their own space and, and make it what they, they pick. And because of that, we're always looking for new people and new, new entrepreneurs who need a space but also need that engagement. Hopefully the people who leave, they always stay engaged in, in some way, come to an event now and then and leave their emails open for me to connect them at, at some point if it comes to that. But um, for the most part, we want um, new members to continue to come into the space.